Hi again. <coughs> We're going to look at uh, basic number skills. Slightly more advanced than the previous ones we looked at in our video on foundation number skills. And we're going to look at two. Expressing two numbers as a ratio fraction and using ratios to find a share and to share. Let's look at the skill number one, expressing two numbers as a ratio fraction. We'll look at the simplest one first. And we'll do it by looking at a question. There were 12 boys in a class and 18 girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls? Well, this is what we write. The first number, the number of boys, 12, is our first number. And then to show it's a ratio, we put two dots, one above the other. It's called a colon. And the second number is the number of girls, 18. So the ratio of boys to girls is 12 to 18. But let's say the question had been worded this way. It asked you for the ratio of girls to boys. Well, the secret is in the wording of the question. In this instance, the first word used was the ratio of girls to boys. So, look how that changes things. The ratio of girls to boys is 18. to 12. Now, as with fractions, so with ratios, you might be asked to give the answer in its simplest form. And if it's a calculator paper, as we're assuming, because this is a revision for the aqua unit one, be it foundation or higher, we get our calculator out and clear anything else on it. And we, well, calculators don't have fraction buttons, uh, sorry, don't have ratio buttons, but we can use the fraction button to do the same thing. We're going to work out the ratio 12 to 18 in its simplest form. So we type in the fraction 12 over 18 or 12 18, press execute and the ratio is 2 to 3. Now what happens if we were asked to find the ratio of girls to boys and give it in its simplest form? What's well, a complication here as ever if you type in 18 over 12, and then press execute, it gives us 3 to 2. And that's the answer, 3 to 2. So for that older calculator, there's no problem. But other calculators might give you 1 and a half. If so, then switch around the problem. So find the ratio uh, 12 to 18 at simplest form, and then just write the answer with the figures transversed or, or swapped over. Now, the link between ratio and fraction. What fraction of the class are boys? Or the fraction of the class that are boys, 12, that's the number of boys out of, we have to do a bit of arithmetic. The class contains boys and girls. So the answer isn't 12 over 18, it's 12 over 30. Likewise, what fraction of the class are girls? It's 18. No great surprises there. Out of 30, there are 30 in the class. Now, if we stop for a moment, to turn the ratio into a fraction, we take whichever it is that we're interested in, in this case it's the boys, we make that our numerator, but the denominator is the total. Likewise, the fraction of a class that were girls, yeah, our numerator, is 18, but the denominator is the total. Now, we can use that to swap between ratios and fractions. Here we go, let's say we've got a ratio in its simplest form, 2 to 5, and let's say it's the ratio of, we'll try boys and girls again, boys to girls. Now, what fraction of class of boys. It would be 2 out of the total, which is 7. So the fraction of boys is 2 out of 7. What fraction of the class of girls, what fraction, not ratio, it would be 5 
out of the total seven. So, what about the other way around? What about say we know the fraction and want to turn that into a ratio? Let's say the fraction of a class, um, the fraction of a class that are boys was a quarter. Now, how do we turn that to a ratio? Well, the first number, as we saw, is no problem. But this second number, the denominator of the fraction, is the total. So what number goes here? Well, it must be 3, so that the total, 1 and 3, gives us the denominator 4. Right. So that's how we express two numbers as a ratio. And we also just had a quick look at the link between ratios and fractions. Now, what about the second basic number skill? Using ratios to find a share and to share. We'll start again by looking at the question. Bob and Chaz share money in the ratio 2 to 3. Chaz gets 150 pounds. How much? Bob get. Well, here's a straightforward way of doing it. We have to remember that the ratio, the numbers in the ratio are in the same order as the names or uh, uh, other things mentioned. Now, we know that Chaz is the second person mentioned. He gets three shares. He also gets a hundred and fifty pounds. We're trying to find how much Bob gets. Bob gets two shares compared to Bob's uh, Chaz's three. So we do two over three times 150. Get the calculator out. Is the answer a hundred pounds? Let's look at that again. So the uh, a clear example. Um, an alloy is iron and bronze. In the ratio seven to four. How much bronze is mixed with a hundred and forty grams of iron? Right now. What is it we're trying to find? We're trying to find how much bronze. Bronze is the second figure in the ratio. So that's the first part of our fraction. What's the second figure in the ratio? It's seven. So that's the, uh, the second number we use, and it's the denominator. What's the other number we haven't used? It's this, 140. So we do four over seven times 140 grams, and if you get your calculator out, you'd find it's 80 grams. Now, what about if we know the total and are trying to find how much one person gets? Here, I'll give you an example of these ratio questions. Uh, Anne and Betty share... 200 pounds in the ratio 3 3 to 7 
how much does Betty get? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's have a look. The ratios, remember, are in the same order as the names mentioned. So here's Betty, so she must be the second number. And that's the first thing we write down, a bit like the previous problem. But what do we write underneath? Because we know the total, instead of using the other figure, we have to use the total shares. So our second number would be those two added together. And then what number haven't we used? It's the 200. Get our calculator out, just show you that again in use. Just clear everything. So it's 7 over 10. That's the total shares because we know the total amount. Times 200 equals 140. Betty gets 140. What about Anne? There's a number of ways of doing it, but let's, uh, um, let's you know, keep to the same system. Anne was the first number mentioned. So that's the first part of our fraction. Because we know the total, we have to use the total number of shares. So it'll be 3 tenths times 200. And your calculator will give you 60 pounds. Now I said there was another way of doing it. When there's only two people involved and you know what one person gets, you've already worked that out, 140. You could just take that away from 200. I'll go through one more example like this. Um, here we go. A fruit juice is two parts a fruit drink. Sorry, I just I don't want to start the whole video again, so just bear with me. A fruit drink is a mix of cordial and water and water. And the ratio two two to eleven. How much cordial to make and then go with me, don't make it too easy. Three hundred and ninety milliliters. Well, what is it we're trying to find? We're trying to find the cordial. The cordial was the first thing mentioned, and therefore it must be the first number in the ratio. So it's the first thing we write down. It's the first part of our fraction. But here we know the total amount. So we have to use the total number of shares. So it's going to be 2 added to 11, 13. So it's going to be 2 over 13 times. What number haven't we used? The 390. Let's put the units in. Well, let's get the calculator to do that. Trust me, I could do that without a calculator. So we type in 2 over 13 times 390. Press execute and there's the answer. 60 milliliters. Okay, so let's recap. Basic number skills. We need to know how to express two numbers as a ratio of fraction, and I hope I didn't explain it too badly, be able to see the link between ratios and fractions. We also need to be able to use ratios to find a share and to share. Now the key thing is, when we're finding out or, or sharing, when we know the total, we have to use the total number of shares. Otherwise we just use a fraction with the first number, the share that we're interested in as the numerator, and the other a share as the denominator. Okay, thank you for listening.